Hey guys, welcome back to episode 18 of the Pity to Purpose podcast here to teach fellow believers how to grow stronger in their faith to position themselves for their greater kingdom purposes. I'm your host, Parker Seymour, and in this week's episode, I'm going to be teaching you guys about how to transition with the Holy Spirit, and this is going to be to help you expand your capacity of how God can work through the external circumstances that we encounter through life. So maybe you're in a season of transitioning or something is transitioning or changing in your life. You know, maybe it's a job move or you're changing in ministry or maybe you're moving to a new city. Whatever it is, today I want to help you look at some different things to help you identify if what you're experiencing is indeed Holy Spirit led. So without any further delay, let's go ahead and jump into today's content. So the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is what are some clues or how can we know Uh, What are the different things that God is using to indicate to us that a a certain season of our lives is complete? Well, first, I want us to look at Ecclesiastes 3, 1 through 8. But bear with me really quickly on this because there are a lot of times in it. So, for everything, there is a season. A time for every purpose under heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to seek and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to cast away, a time to rend and a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. So here we have King Solomon basically telling us that as we go through life, we will encounter many different seasons or seasons can be referred to as periods of time in which certain events take place or they happen in our lives. So maybe you're at a certain job or the state that you're living is currently closing or maybe there's a relationship that God is calling you to move on from or perhaps you're suffering from different types of losses or maybe even God is bringing you into an alignment with greater things to propel you further into your purpose. Now these are just some general examples of when God is transitioning us into different seasons. I'm going to go ahead and break down and discuss a few particular situations that God will use to communicate to us that he is transitioning us into a new season. So the first thing is that if we are feeling stagnant or not growing in our spiritual journey, and if you've been with us on this podcast for any length of time, you'd know that this is a recurring topic that we have covered in past episodes. So when we are stagnant in our faith, we aren't chasing after the things of God at the level that maybe we truly desire deep down, or maybe even at the level that we once used to. Now, small times of feeling stagnant are normal from time to time, but when we experience these from long periods of time, then there's maybe there's something deep down in that we really need to address. You know, one of the biggest reasons behind prolonged stagnation can be that our overall environment or the things that we've aligned ourselves with aren't pushing us to be all that we can be spiritually. Thus, over time, we aren't producing at the God, at the level God is calling us to. So the next thing we may be experiencing is unbearable circumstances. You know, there have been several seasons of my past where God let my circumstances get so uncomfortable to the point where, you know, I had no choice but to leave them. You know, and the, this reason... The reason this happened was because, you know, God was clearly communicating me that I needed to leave, but I was not fully engaged with him, nor was I trusting that what I was seeing was indeed him. You know, the the enemy would always overplay his hand and cause confusion and twist the signs that God was giving me to, to, you know, leave, leave the environment that I was in, and I was blocking my own blessing. So with that, we need to stay sharp in our discernment. You know, we have to stay active in the word and prayer, as well as be open to other Christian 
uh, believers in our community with them to help us give us insight during these seasons. The last thing is desire and self-evaluation. Sometimes God will subtly highlight different things that he wants for us and he will lead us to reevaluate where we currently are in life with where we want to be. There have been seasons of my life where before God did a new thing, he began a subtle desire or it began as a subtle desire or even a period of self-evaluation. You know, God is a good father and he loves to give us good gifts. Some of the good gifts can include a better career to take better care of your family or it's a successful business so you don't have to go out and work a ton of hours at a day job. Or maybe it's moving to a whole new region for a fresh start or perhaps it's a, a spouse that God wants to give you to bring him more glory. The things that God wants to give us give us typically start somewhere with a desire and he will help us identify those desires and refine us for them. So those are just a few of many different things God can and will use to communicate to us that we are entering a new season. And I only used a few of those things because those are just what I've personally experienced in my own faith journey. So now that we know some of the circumstances God can use to speak to us, how can we truly know that this indeed is what God is actually speaking? And how do we hear his voice clearly? You know, if there's only one thing that I want you guys to take from this episode, let it be this. So at the end of the day, the Bible is going to be the ultimate resource to help us identify what is and what isn't from God, because it is already the revealed Word of God. So yes, God will speak to us through many different ways and use different signs, but we have to remember to take those things to God's already written Word to test them and weigh them against Scripture. 1 John 4.1 says, Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. 1 Thessalonians 5.21 But test everything. Hold fast to what is good. Also remember that, you know, and a lot of times it may take a while to receive answers for prayers. So exercising patience and humility will always be key. So we always have to be open to hear whatever it is the Holy Spirit is communi- communicating to us as well. John 10.27 My sheep listen to my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. So it takes time and experience to be able to consistently know God's voice and his leadings in these certain transitioning points in our lives. You know, in a lot of aspects of our faith, they improve over time as we grow and as we learn with God. And as we learn and grow, we pick up different patterns that God will use to communicate to us something. And personally, I've encountered several transitions in my life where God used similar patterns to help me understand that what it was was truly Him speaking to me. So over time, you'll be able to look past on these events and pick up those key events that to help you discern what, whether it, this indeed is from God or not. But like I mentioned Take these things to the Word of God and make make sure that they align with it. So now that we know that the signs are from God, and we know that it is clearly Him speaking to us, now it's time to make the leap. So our last question is how? How do I make this transition? And truly, that is a very good question. So the truth is that it's not going to be easy. You know, taking on new adventures with God can be very daunting at times. But, you know, maybe it's time to to leave what's familiar and quit that job to pour into that business full time. Or maybe it's even time to move on from that relationship that's been keeping you stuck. Some transitions are going to be an absolute blast. But at the same time, they are going to be, you know, seeming uncertain and scary. You know, other times they can be just downright painful. You know, wherever you are, God is... He's, he's not calling you to, to take this step just to, you know, play with your emotions. No. 
He's ready to elevate you to your next season. But first, he has to lead you away from where you are now. You know, it takes trust and it, it takes that trust to leave environments where you've grown comfortable and for any length of time. So to be more transparent with you guys, this was me in a recent past season. There was an environment God was calling me out of, but I was trying to hold on to it. You know, like I mentioned earlier, God let my life experience or my life circumstances, he let them get to the point where letting go of that environment was the only way to advance further into what he was calling me to do. You know, community, counsel, and accountability are going to play major key roles in helping us to make these big life decisions. So, in conclusion, whether it's right in front of our faces or it's a subtle desire or even a season of, you know, feeling stagnant, take these things to God in prayer and His Word to truly understand how He wants to reposition you. We have to remain, we have to remember to remain humble to hear God and see Him move in our lives. And sure, God can and will use the things that we covered in this episode. But first, we have to remember to hold fast to the revealed Word of God ultimately. So don't place your whole trust in just signs. So today, maybe you are someone who's in the middle of a transition or you sense one is on the horizon. If so, allow the Holy Spirit to invite you into a place of deeper humility and submission so that God can direct your steps and you can clearly clearly hear him communicate to you about your situation. So remember that God is the one who ultimately has all the answers that you need. So my mission with this podcast is to activate fellow believers and help them refine their walks with God to position themselves in a place ready to thrive in their kingdom purposes. If you feel like the information I shared with you today helped you or benefited you in any way, Definitely consider subscribing if you haven't already. So that's all I have for you in this week's episode. If you're listening in here on Spotify or watching here on YouTube, thank you for tuning in with me. Again, I'm your host, Parker Seymour, and we will see you guys next week in another Pity to Purpose episode.